When you woke up this morning, did you happen to notice anything different? No? Did you, did you happen to notice when you went to take the garbage? Did you happen to notice any of those things? No? What about when you decided to go outside and walk the dog or feed the cat or feed the fish? Anything different? you feel anything? No? I ask these questions because there's a reason to this. See, while you may not have noticed something different, the dog did. Your body did. The person you call noticed that they can hear your voice and they can hear your smile and they can hear your laughter and your love. They can feel it. When you did those simple things, when you hear those simple things, I want you to know that you matter. And I know that every day is not going to be a strong day, but I simply just need you to continue to fight, to continue to get up, to continue to move, to continue to just improve day by day. It doesn't have to be an easy road. It just needs to be a road that you can at least move on. So reach out and get help. But nine, eight, eight, three simple numbers. Nine, eight, eight. Numbers that don't even have a lot of meaning, but have more than you know. Nine, eight, eight. And get help. Because I don't want you to make a decision that I have to live with. Make one that you can live with. And get help. Now let's talk football. What's going on, Pride Nation? We back at it again. And it's a good time to be talking about the Detroit Lions because there's a lot to talk about, especially with the free agency full effect, fully open, fully popping. And in between all that, we get to see how we're improving this team. I'm excited to talk about this today, but I'm going to do it a little bit different because today is not necessarily about me. It is about you. Yes, that's what I said. It is about you. And so I'm immediately putting the link in the chat because this is going to be the day where you guys and gals get to sign off on this whole entire conversation. But before we get way into it, let me just go ahead and go out my beautiful way to uh, simply see who's in the building with me today. Who's rocking with me? If you win here, put something in the chat so I can catch you. We got my man Big T, Looney Tune, No. We got my man Raw, Midwest Lion. Um, we got my man uh, Nemesis, uh, Breaks, uh, BD Buster, Friendly Neighborhood Lions fan, That Fan Man, Gino, Go Lions, Rache Johnson in the building, Had a House 70, uh, Lions Talk by Chat Sports, a.k.a. Mr. Mike Kimber, Sean Parker's in the building, uh, Messiah Flute is in the building. Um, we got uh, Gavin Carson in the building. Jack Frost is in the building. Barberry Lions in the building. You can hate me now. Mackenzie, John Kaplan's in the building. Shout out to you. Um, we got Marcus Willis in the building. Dan Spanos in the building. Lions Lee is in here. Uh, the Singles Dads Club um, is in the building. Crimson Shadows, Southwest Lion. Make sure I ain't miss nobody. Uh, I don't think I missed nobody. I think I hit everybody. Oh, wait, we got Lions fans express in the building. Chrome is in the building. Lions Rumble 81 is in the building. First black man on the net is in the building. William Birch is in the building. Let's see. Cosmic Cal TV. What up? I hope I said that right. Cosmic Cal TV. I hope I said that right. What's up, though? Uh, let me see. Let me make sure I don't miss nobody. Mark Malice is in the building. My man Shay's in the building. Mars is landing in the building. Make sure I don't miss nobody. I really want to make sure I hit every single person. So I'm 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 ain't no about it. I put the link in there because I want you to open up about it. I got my thoughts about what we are doing and why we're doing it and where we are with it. And here's my overall view of it. I'll give it to you quickly, then I'll allow for other people to jump in and share their opinions and have a conversation about it. And I hope people are willing to do it. Here's my here's my view. I need the chat's help a little bit because. I need to make sure that I can do this all right. Oh, wait, wait. Got a few more people who putting that, that hit in there. My man Jacob Burnley is in the building. Shout out to you, sir. Um, here's my thing. Um, I want you to tell me thus far, thus far, we're not, 
We're not finna try to reinvent the wheel here, people. But thus far, put a grade on the Detroit Lions free agency so far. I want a grade. Single grade, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever you come up, I want a grade, um, a single grade for what we've done in free agency so far, okay? Um, oh, Timer Davis in the building. What up, doe? All right. Uh, Mark Malice says, let's, let me get through some of my grades. I see you in the back. Fellas, just hold tight for me, okay? I want to get the grades in. Uh, Mark Mallis says A+, plus, okay? Um, my man's Mike says T.A. the best. Um, Hatter House says a C. Dan Spano says an A, okay? Um, Gab, the cool kid, says Jalen Carter's looking possible. Um, you know, I didn't even address that trade that the Bears made, but they became one of my BFFs for that trade because I'm almost certain that we are going to be able to get Jalen Carter. And the question is, are people going to want him? Also, it's funny to me because now that they made that trade, um, it does, in my opinion, change the way you view the draft board. But ultimately, it was a trade that I had to laugh at because we got more for Stafford than they did for the first overall pick. And I want y'all to think about that, right? Like, like we got more for a 30 some year old quarterback than they did for the first overall pick. Shay's got an A on the, on the, on the draft. We got a B so far, uh, C, uh, B, C, uh, let's see, B, B plus A, uh, let's see, B, I got a B plus minus, which equal out to a B. <laughs> uh, my man, James Tanskley says A plus 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 uh a minus b gray all right here's my thoughts on it what do we improve yeah i what do we improve and i'm not asking that for uh uh, uh to be facetious i'm asking it because i'm genuine, i'm really curious what did we improve right and when i say that i want you to take into account this what did we do that helps us compete in the division to win the division and win a playoff game? And and that's that's my my view on it. I feel that this is pretty much the offseason that I expected us to have. And this is the offseason off season that we had last year and the offseason we had before that. And so at that point, what did we improve? That's how I looked at it. I don't care who they picked up. Did we fully improve our team? And to me, if you're telling me that we fully improved our team, that's where I'm like, okay. All right. So, again, that's my view on it. I don't think that we had any real major improvements. I think we did much of the same. And at this point, it's just a matter of seeing how it all plays out. And the only reason I'm not killing the Lions or the general manager or head coach or anybody for that matter is because free agency is still going on. And we don't know what they're planning on doing, if they're done or not. But at this point, I you know, I don't get it. And, I, you know, Steve-O says the Lions didn't have enough money to improve the whole team. We used that excuse last year. We used that excuse the year before that, that we didn't have no money to improve anything. But we had enough money to sign bugs back. For what? That's a waste of money. You could put that money somewhere else. It's a low-end deal, Luke. I know. We brought back Will Harris. It's a one-year deal, Luke. I know. That's still money that you're using. You know? And I'm just, I mean, no matter how you slice it, I'm just asking, how do, how do we improve? Let me break in my first guest, Don Don Nineteen. What's going on, Don Don? What's going on, Luke? Hey, what's your thoughts, man? I mean, this I'm, I'm giving the floor to y'all. I my my view is clear. Uh, I'm not upset. I'm not happy. I am just like, oh, okay. This is much of what we did for the last two years. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of I'm kind of neutral. I mean, it's I mean, just they bring home just stay the same. You no, know, add a couple corners, Sutton, Mosley. It's like more of a one year proof, it, just like last year, like Chart, Bugs, Kaminsky. It's kind of like the same. 
Yeah, I mean, I get, I get that point. And that's to me is like, okay, I'm cool with it, right? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm cool with it. Um, yeah, I ain't got no problem. You know, now first black man on that says, first of all, we address the trash secondary. I, I think I'm the first one to say if we need to address the secondary, we need to do it. I've been screaming that for about the last couple of years, but okay. He said, second of all, you can't fully improve your team when your draft hasn't happened yet. The two sure. parts work together, Luke. You know what? You know that. I didn't say that you need to do it. I said, what did we improve? So nobody is saying that you can. You have to fully improve your team through the free agency. Nobody has ever said that. I certainly did not say that. However, with the players that they brought in, what did they improve? That's a legitimate question. That I believe should be asked. And when you look at that, that's a fair question. What does Will mm-hmm. Harris improve? Right? What is what is like like these people that they brought back from a defense that was basically dead last? What did they improve? If you don't think it's a yeah. fair question, I get it. You know, yeah, I, I, I'm guessing Brad Home just on. Um... You know, wait for the draft to really assert himself for defense. That's what I'm thinking. Well, I, listen. You know, we have we have some people back that I'm cool with. Right, and he tried he tried to go after Jalen Ramsey, but he preferred to go to Miami. So. It ain't nothing you can do about it. And, and this is another thing because I had I actually had to defend Brad Holmes against this one. I actually was happy Brad Holmes did not bring him bring Jalen Ramsey in for two reasons. For one, I I'm pretty sure that what they asked for from the Lions was different than what they asked for from the Dolphins. Oh yeah, most definitely. For the yeah. Lions, they was asking probably for 18. They was probably asking for a second round pick, and the mm-hmm. Lions was smart to tell them hell to the no, to the no, no, no. And ultimately, he wanted to go somewhere where he likes it in Miami. He likes it in Florida. I get it. I'm not going to kill the, the general manager for that. But if he would have gave up a high draft pick, I'd have been like, okay. And again, at the end of the day, I don't really care about who we didn't get. I'm trying to focus on what we have and how does that impact our team and, and how does that improve the team. And so we can talk about it. But, like, I've like I've never – I've watched a lot of football. I've never mm-hmm. heard anybody tell me. Um, I never heard anybody tell me that uh, Sutton is a, a top corner in this league. And I've watched Sutton. Sutton at best, at best, is a slot corner in my opinion. At best, he's not. He's not a number one cornerback. But per usual, you know, per the formula, this is what we get. We get these guys who would be on the bench on other teams to be starters on ours. Um, no, you know, no, I, think and, he, I think he was solid for the Steelers. I mean. He, he okay. just don't got no hands. He a good cover corner, but he ain't got no hands. That's the only okay. problem with him. Well, I'm, I'm just, hey, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, you know, yeah, giving, yeah, I'm just giving yeah. my opinion. I do want to get mm-hmm. a few more people in, Dante. I'm gonna hold you on the back for a second and get a few All more right. people. In. All right, hold on one second. Right. I'm gonna bring up my next person. Is I hope I said it's right. Cosman Cal TV. I hope I said that right. Welcome to the show, brother. What's going on? Uh oh. Hello. All right, I guess he wasn't ready. I give him a minute to come back. I'm gonna go to the next one. Crimson Shadow, what up, though? What's up, man? Not much, sir. Uh, what do you have for the people? I mean, what are your thoughts on the Lions free agency so far? Yeah, it's part of the course about what I would have done. I'm bring back the guys you got nine wins out of these guys before. Bring back the guys that contributed, and yeah, Alex Bugs, they contributed. They're good depth pieces, if anything. That's the thing. You can't just cut everyone and say, okay, bring in the new guys. Maybe this will work. Yeah, that, that's not gonna fucking fly. And I don't think I don't think it's a matter of saying you can't just cut a bunch of people and say bring in new guys and blah 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 yeah, blah. Yeah, you gotta have familiar. Yeah, the reality is you got five picks in the top eighty one, right? Yeah. And you yeah, have a I'll chance know. you have a chance to add some impactful players to the from free agency, right? Yeah, and I'm you sure. have a chance to add those impactful players from key positions. Yeah, but and, you gotta play seventy two mil for Tread. For, uh, I'm not even talking. I'm not even talking about Tremaine Edmonds because at that point, I don't care what Edmonds does. Right? He's not, in my opinion, he's not a top talent. So I, you know, to the people who love him and stuff, they love his athletic ability. More power to you. But he's not a top talent, in my opinion. And so at that point, 
I'm just like, okay, whatever. But there were other people, there were other people that could have been a top talent or added more impact to your team. And yeah, you didn't get them and I don't care. But yeah, you know, you're gonna have a hard time selling me on Ellis Ellis Anzalone yeah, being being your leader for the next two years at the middle yeah, linebacker. And besides drafting middle linebackers, you were a linebacker and you know better than anyone that middle linebackers almost like cornerback. It takes time to develop that. Outside inside linebackers, pretty easy, not really hard to get. Middle linebacker is a different animal. You know that's true. And um I I know this. I know every great defense had a good interior linebacker and that every quarterback is trying to ID that particular linebacker. Okay. Their impact is great. Nobody's IDing freaking Ellis Anzalone. Nobody cares. Well, no, but he's an offensive. He does the job. He earned the bag. I ain't going to lie. He did very well in his last part. And if he does it again, well, if he fits what we do, hey, look at the Patriots. They take guys nobody else would take, and it works for them. They run Jelani to buy, and it freaking works for them. It's the weirdest thing. The because they used them, they used them where they were supposed to. That's the difference. Well, there you um, go. You I mean, supposed to. listen again. If you love this thing, great. Well, I have no emotion I, really to it. I just, I'm just I asking. I don't love it. I'm fine with it. I'm and just it. asking. What did we improve? Let me bring in one more person, uh, Crimson. Hold on. Let me put you in the back for a second. Uh, bring in my man D Map Zoom. I want to hear y'all opinion about the Lions free agency thus yeah, far. What's going on, what is man? y'all what's opinion about it? D Map Zoom, what you got for the people and, and, and your thoughts about this free agency? So far, um, so far, I guess it's decent. He basically brought back the guys he know that really contributed to our nine wins last year. When some some a couple of dudes, he know that cornerback room was freaking abysmal. So one got a couple guys sudden and what was it mostly right? Who does who did who did who does mostly and sudden upgrade grade from? Um. I got a feeling that might that might replace Okuda. They probably lighting fire on Okuda's ass and basically telling him like, "Yeah, bro, I'm gonna let you know your job is in jeopardy." So, so if the Lions cut Okuda, like you're like you're suggesting, if the Lions cut Okuda, then they're basically saying that he was not worth a top ten pick, let alone the top three. That's definitely uh, uh, pretty much. Okay. Like, you already know the reason he even got picked to begin with is because freaking. Bob Queen, okay. Bob Queen, man, man Matt Trish was trying, trying to save that job. That's the reason he picked him. He picked him in number three in the begin with. That's the okay. he did it. So, he let go of Slay. Okay. So if if they don't cut Okuda, right? Let's say they don't cut Okuda. Then what did we upgrade? To, at that point, I don't think we upgraded much. Like, like what's the difference between Sutton and Hughes? Like I'm not trying to be funny. Like I'm, I'm really, I'm gen- like genuinely asking. What's I'll the difference say, between them? I'll say honestly, I didn't really actually look at much of the film on all the guys, but supposedly sudden is like pretty good as far as coverage goes. But it's like man to man, it's like boy average or something. But it's like I haven't dived deep, deep into it. But supposedly he's better than what we got now for a fact. Somewhat better. Okay, I I'm just asking. Oh, right, hey, man. I like, like, you. like when you look up, when you look up, and you look at who we, we brought Matt Nelson back, right? You brought Will Harris back. You I'll brought Nelson. You brought uh, Will. Wait, they brought back Harris too. Yeah, Will Harris got signed, resigned. Oh. I, I, um, I guess he's still serviceable then. You know, um, you, you know, you brought back Kaminsky. Uh, Kaminsky. Right? Oh, that, 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 oh, they brought back Kaminsky too. You brought oh. back Bugs. You know, I just want to know. I want to know, based on that, running. what did we improve? So far, it don't sound like we improved anything. We basically just kept, kept them, pretty much keeping the majority of our core players that we, we had last year together. And then which, we which, had some which guys. Brings me, which brings me to the next question, and I appreciate your point. Like I said, I want to try to give people a chance to get in here, so if y'all wouldn't be bear, bear with me for a few minutes, I, I bring everybody in. We can do cross-talk and all that stuff. But I kind of want to just get the people's thoughts, because for me, when I look at this stuff, um, <laughs> that fat man. The difference between Mike Hughes and Sutton is about eight point five million. I I feel you. I'm not I'm not mad at it. Um, free agency is starting to be boring. I'm okay with it from this standpoint, right? Because it, it, the evidence suggests that spending a lot of money in free agency doesn't equate to wins. It just doesn't, <laughs> and I'm cool with that. But I'm not cool with was you getting players that fit a certain look? 
Emmanuel uh, Mosley coming off of an injury, you signed him to a one-year deal. All right. Um, Will Harris is brought back. Which, again, all these guys can be cut. Make no mistake about it. We don't know who's going to end up being on the 53-man roster. But I want you all to understand that this is still money you're spending. So when people – because I've seen people who have spent money and they have left the change at the at the counter, like, oh, you can keep the penny. And then it's like, yo, if, if 20 people do that, that's 20 cents. And that adds up quickly. So I get that part of it. What I don't get is when looking at our free agency, and I don't care what everybody else did. I'm talking about the Detroit Lions. What did we improve? That's the first one. And second question I have is, is, did you believe that the defense was well enough? Did you believe that the defense was well enough that we can um, bring back many of those defensive players from last year? That's that's the other question. Um, Steve said the Lions finished as the hottest team in the NFL. Maybe they didn't want to shake up their locker room or chemistry. That could be the case. But you realize that free agency has to still happen, and you realize that a draft has to still happen. And so at some point, you're shaking it up somehow because you're going to be drafting people who are going to be starting in position. So even if you didn't want to shake it up, you inevitably will have to shake it up. It's, it's no way of getting around it. I just hope I don't hear that Will Harris and Okuda battling for the number two cornerback spot. Well, you know, it is what it is. Uh, people that don't like Sutton, I'm convinced, don't watch him. I don't think it's a matter of you need to like him or not. I think it's a matter of is he a number one corner? And if your answer is no, okay, cool. Then what you're telling me is the Lions is still on the, on the, on the board for a corner. Great. Uh, first black man on the net says, Luke, you obviously haven't done your research on these DBs at all. Uh, I've done my research. I've watched them. I know who Emmanuel Mosley is. I watched him. I know he was, I know he's coming off an injury too. Another hurt player added to our team. I know that too. The same way I know that with Sutton. Sutton, if you want to give him two and a half good seasons or three seasons worth of, out of his five, okay, cool. But I also know that the minute a receiver is fast, he can't cover. So, you know, some things it just is what it is. It's like Okuda can't cover a slant route to save his life. But if you look at it and you just say, okay, cool, I expect for us to play these teams with faster receivers. And I'm going to see how Sutton do. From what I've seen, he don't do well with those speedier guys. Just saying. And I know I already, I already hear the excuses coming where people are going to say stuff like, oh, well, you don't know the coverage. Oh, he, you know, you, everybody gets beat sometimes. Oh, he's got a jail and stuff. And I, I know all the adages. I get it. Um, Adam Whitehead says, stop the hate on Anzalone. I don't hate him no more. He's a lion. Good job for him. Uh, no, it doesn't. But how did we get better defensively? Now we have to wait on the draft. And that's that's the reality. Um, we have to wait on the draft. You got five picks in there, and that's it, it's what it is. The Steelers fans were bummed about losing Sutton. I don't care what the fans give a fuck about. I don't care about the fans. I know this. The Steelers don't let defensive players walk that they think are valuable to them. They don't do it. When they are no longer valuable to them, then you see them getting the hell on, like Joey Porter. Like, you see them when they moved on from Wood, uh, uh, Lamar Woodley. When they're when they're when they realize they can't get any more out of you, like James Harris and all, they'll move on from you then. But the Steelers take care of their players. In fact, that's one of the classiest organizations in all of the NFL. And if the Steelers think that much of you as a as a player, you ain't going nowhere. And that's a fact. You ain't going nowhere. So I'm not knocking them. I'm asking, where do we improve at? Just because we got a new name in the building don't mean we improve. Sorry, not sorry. Just putting it out there. Um, what up, though, Troy? Um, you know, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, you know, make it a thing. I'm just telling the truth. Never stop the hate of Esloni. I know, Vel, but he a lion. So at that point, I got a root that he do something worthwhile. Like, that's all it is. Like, I just got to hope he do it. 
Uh, Joe, Joe Lewis says, made it. Luke, let's get Patty because the Lions resigning. Hey, hey, I don't think that your defense was good enough for you to bring these people back. You could, you telling me of all the free agents in this free agency pool, that was the best inside linebacker you could find. Got it. Okay. Got it. Anzalone had a better year than linebacker name as his replacement in the chat. Y'all hate on the wrong players all the time. Okay. If you know, if you, you know, I'm with it. Um, let me see. I want to make sure I get to the comments. What are y'all thoughts? I want to know what y'all thoughts are. I know Cameron Hayward was upset about Sutton leaving. Okay. Cool. Uh, they improved their talent and depth in the secondary with the cornerback signings. I see Harris playing much less this season. Okay. See, if you can give me an answer like that and tell me that this is what they improve and you, okay, I can rock with your answers. I'm asking you these questions because I want to know what your thoughts are, right? Like, I'm not I'm not trying to be funny. I want to know. Sutton is not Deion Sanders or Charles Wilson or Champ Bailey. He's a younger Darius Slay. Okay. Uh, Luke, you wasting this channel, bro. Uh, and a great following. You bring up irrelevant stuff just to have content. This team is steadily improving, and you questioning homes and company. Okay. I'm open to all, all, all comments today. This is an opportunity for you to speak your truth. That's why it's the Lincolns in there. You can come in here and tell me I'm crazy. I'm asking a legitimate question. And whether people think that these are not legitimate questions or not, that's fine. But the reality is, is this. What I'm not going to do is come on here and give you a bunch of lip service with lipstick on and tell you, you know what? Yeah, this is a great offseason. Yeah, we can't do anything wrong. Yeah, the Lions were smart to do this. Nobody in here realistically is saying these things. And the ones who are have not jumped on to talk about it. And I'm asking questions for a reason. Because when I ask the question of what did we improve, it's a legitimate question. When I ask the question of were there anybody on that defense from last year, not named Aiden Hudson because – you had you drafted him, and obviously you ain't gonna get rid of him. Not named Tracy Walker because he was hurt. You can't talk about him. But we're, like the people who were free agents, were they were they were worthy to be brought back? Do you really believe you would have lost something if you didn't resign Alex Anceloni? I don't think so. I just don't. Raw podcast says Holmes is not perfect. He is very good in the draft and free agency. He is suspect. You know, I, you know, I, I'm just, I'm not trying to change this. Luke, they are building this thing through the draft. They're adding upgrades at vulnerable positions. You should know the game plan. Come on, Luke. I know the game plan. So what you're telling me is, is they got five picks out of, out of the top 81. We should have at least how many day one starters. You tell me how many day one starters. You got five out of the top 81. I'm already going to go with four. You should have four day one starters. So I'm just saying. Um, I'm not going to lie, but I'd rather keep Anzalone than disgustingly overpay a big name linebacker that could possibly cripple the cap. So our cap been fucked up for the last three seasons. I got it. You don't think all these little signings had anything to do with our cap issues. You don't think re-signing Will Harris had anything to do with it. You don't think Isaiah Buzz for six million for two years had anything. These little signings don't make no difference to this. Got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, Lions don't have the budget to build through free agency. Nobody's asking them to build through free agency. Nobody's saying, hey, go out there and build through free agency. We're bringing back a lot of people from a defense that was ranked in the lower end of the, of the league in terms of a defense. That's logical thinking to everyone. I, I, just trying to figure it out. Um, we would have lost Thor's hammer celebration and possibly confused by fake butter if we lost Anceloni. He is a treasure. Okay. 
Uh, and who cares as long as the Lions' record is improved at the end of the season? That's all I care about, which is why I'm not shitting on it. But I have every right to ask those questions. I have every right to to put those questions out there because that's what it is. There are fair questions that should be asked. Nobody should be doing it. Lions actually have a lot of cap space next offseason. Um, this is my third year watching our team in free agency. I don't think we're a team that's going to be um, – I don't think it's going to be like spending money. Like in my opinion. Could be wrong. I don't get it. Worst channel for Lions content always trying to be different with backwards takes just to get buzz. Uh, this dude back. Uh, good grief. No matter who Brad signs, you're not happy. It's going to trend with you. You didn't even want Hutch. Yeah, well, yeah look, I'm open to all, all opinions. I'm happy you here to even give it. Good for you. You think I'm the worst than you here? That's intriguing. Bro, you're correct, and it said he won't read your comment. I just did. Nobody's upset. The same way that that link has been in that chat the entire time, and nobody's hopped on to talk besides the three people who jumped in. And if you want to hear fluff and fan service, then, hey, this is not the place. I'm about thinking. Nobody's trying to be different for Buzz or anything like that. All the same people who hyped up this stuff hyped it up last year, and we started out one and six, and they wanted every coach fired. So mess me with the bullshit. For now, we signing them, but we can still use them as trade bait in the draft, though. I don't know how often that happens. Uh, you kind of sound like you're shitting on it, Luke. Okay. I'm asking a question. What did we upgrade? I shouldn't have to tell you what we upgrade. You should be able to tell me. What is the upgrades we made? The defense was ranked what last year? You think Ellis Anzalone was worth coming back? These are questions that you should be able to answer. Because I'm. what I reason I'm doing that is because when I'm up here, I get up here, I'm on the record for what I say. When you guys get in the chat, I want y'all to be on the record for what y'all say. If you are under the belief that the Lions are doing the right things and they're doing the right decisions in this offseason and you are excited about it, then tell me what are the improvements? What are you excited about? Because guess what? We had Kominsky last year. We had Alex Anceloni last year. We had Isaiah Buzz last year. We had Craig Reynolds last year, right? The only people we did it, that they added that we did not have are Sutton and Mosley. OK, we had Will Harris last year and every single person in here was like, oh, my God, this defense is garbage. So now I'm saying, OK, they bringing them all back. Are you cool with this? That's a question. Are you good with what they're doing? Southwest Lions, thank you for, for having a, a, a fair conversation about it. He says, they have improved secondary, but I don't think either of these guys is their number one cornerback. I would not be surprised to see them draft a cornerback at six if Anderson and Carter are gone. I'm in agreement with you, and I think that that's the only thing you can do. But you know our fan base don't want Carter because he's a criminal. How dare he? How dare he, he race? They don't want that. I've literally I put up poll at the poll, and I've read what the people have said, and they they would rather have a corner than Jalen Carter. It blows my mind. They would rather have a corner than B. John Robinson. Again, I'm just here to I'm just here to point it out. All I gotta say is Okuda is not worth a top ten pick. I know that take started here, and I was told I was batshit crazy too when I said that one. Let me bring Crimson and D. Matt Band. D Map Crimson, you think it's unfair to ask these questions? No, no, it's not an unfair. Come on now. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like I feel like if 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 I if you go back and you watch a lot of these videos, ha, have you not looked at the chats and seen where people were literally shitting? Oh, yes. They were shitting on the defense and shitting on the things that's going on, and they thought we were gonna do it. But guys, you gotta be reasonable here. Luke's not hating this. Look, I've watched Luke for many years. If Luke was hating something, trust me, Luke is pretty freaking blatant when he hates something. It's just indifference. And by all means, yeah, it is a very indifferent type of free agency. There's, 
you know, we just brought back a lot of guys. I get why we did it. It's a familiarity thing, and it still netted you nine wins, and the defense did improve, but there is questions. Can they do that again? Can they do what they did in the second half, or are they just going to be inconsistent again? And it's understandable. And and that's the reality of it. And, and, and again, the thing that I want people to realize is every year we give the same excuses, and I'm saying, look, and let me bring in Don Don 19 because I want people to be in and have the conversation. Y'all yeah, only y'all seem to be the ones who wouldn't have had a conversation. But as Black Spirit points out, resigning to Tim Boyles and Will Harris will continue to mess with your cap. These little signings make a difference. And when people are sitting there, you know, acting like that don't make a difference, it's cool. My reality is is simply put this: I don't want to hear fire no head coach. I don't want to hear fire Aaron Glenn when y'all are putting down A pluses, B pluses, and shit like that. Don't put down fire Aaron Glenn, fire Dan Campbell. I don't want to hear that. But I will say it is important to have depth. We have always said that. And Bugs, if you do draft Jalen Carter, having Bugs as a depth player, I would say be pretty aces. It's kind of like the Evan Brown on your D line. Just have a guy sit in the back in case of injury or anything. All right, thank you, Steve-O. Uh, an answer I can rock with. The upgraded the secondary and brought back the free agents that performed for this team last season. Cool. I'm all right with that. I like cool. that answer. I'm, I'm trying to that. open up the door for conversation. I literally started that. the show out by putting the information out up front to say, hey, this is our questions. You know what I'm saying? I mean, in your opinion, it, what would you have done with the Alex deal? Do you, do you hate the contract, or what do you feel like? Is it just the player for you? About what you talking about, you talking about for our free agents? I'm saying for Anzalone. Is it just is it that you don't care much for the contract, or are you just kind of indifferent with him? Like, what, what is your? I think I think he is a meh player at best. Okay. He's not even average. He's meh at at best. <laughs> and and for me, I I believe that you can upgrade him with your eyes closed. You can literally sleep. <laughs> And stay in a coma for years and come back and upgrade him. It's Wait, not hard. What? Um, so I just I just think that he's a mad player. DJ says, Luke, you keep saying the defense was ranked terrible, but you take out the first why I gotta take out anything. This, yeah, why it, do I it gotta take out anything? It don't work like that. That's not how it worked. <laughs> they played a whole season. I can see if it wasn't a whole season play. They played a whole season and was ranked last. Because guess what? When I take out those seven games, I can't take them out because guess what? Because one of those seven games mattered to you getting into the damn playoffs. Sure. The Seahawks one. Seahawks. The one, Carolina. the one game where your offense scored like 40 some freaking points, you give up 46. One stop to save or 48 lives. or whatever the hell it was. So <laughs> I'm just saying, no you way. want me to take it out, but I can't take it out. I have to look at it and I have to ask these questions. And 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 any person who doesn't like that, hey. Sorry, not sorry. True, they can kick rocks at that point. The reality is, is this. I'm putting it up there for people to see. Dale says, Anzalone signing doesn't bother me. He did step up his play last half of the season. Hopefully, it will continue. Thanks for keeping it real, bro. I'm just trying my best. Jared Davis of linebackers. I'm just trying to keep, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to tell the truth. (laughs) He's very polarizing to me. Uh, Let me see. Luke, we can't take Carter. We need young outside (laughs) Outstanding players to make Miss Ford to church on Sunday. You can't have a criminal take her into a church. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, he's been he's been facetious. I get it, but I, oh, I understand what he's saying. Lord Unless he God. murdered someone, I don't care. Bring in Carter. It's really I can't. Man, I know, says, I want dogs on the D line. Daryl Richard says they have not impressed me at all. Why would you sign a hurt cornerback and bring back Will Harris instead of Holmes? Should have spent that money on a top free agent right guard. I mean, we can go back and we can go back and forth on what they could have and should have did. So should have, would have, could have. We could have did that all day, right? We could have said they could have did this, they should have did that. I want to focus on what they did. And to me, what you point out, uh, uh, Darrell, is the same thing. I'm I'm asking people to say, hey, let's look at what we did. What did they improve? Because you took a, you took a cornerback who's coming off an injury, and there seems to be a trend where taking all these players coming off injuries. And I get that you want to say, where's well, a depth move? And yes, I know he can still be cut. I get that. I understand that. But what did they improve? We've been talking about the cap for three seasons. We're the only team still talking about cap issues three seasons in. Why? Bob Quinn screwed us over so damn hard. The <laughs> Lions, bad, year one, three wins. Year bad. two, nine wins. They are definitely getting better. Well, is it because of defense? Well, I'd say that for the Jaguars. Well, the second half. 
Just, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not just trying to count the Jets game because you had Zach Wilson throwing. So even then, you made Zach Wilson look like a freaking superstar. <laughs> now this is a this is an interesting point. I like this. This is conversational. The Lions upgraded the cornerback room enough to the point that cornerback isn't necessary in the first round. They also locked down some depth at a few positions by resigning players. Only cornerback room improvement so far. Do you believe that the Lions have done enough in free agency to where cornerback is no longer an option in the first round? I mean, not at six, but at eighteen, I can see them taking. I can see them taking the if Joey Porter fall or. Emmanuel Ford right there. I can see that. But at six, I think it's going to be a defensive line. I changed my mind from previous talks. Yeah, I, I changed agree. my mind. I'll say, I know that first pick for a fact is going to either be a quarterback, we trade down, or we're going to get in, get de tackled. I see you in yeah. the back, brother. I'm going to bring you in one second. Just hold tight but for that me. That 18 right? pick is really, it's, that's up there. Uh, yeah. right. So, Darrell said they haven't improved anything on defense except a slot corner. Cam Sutton. Uh, is a highly paid slot corner. He's going like to be a number one or number two, so we're going to get to see. All I know is when I watched him against the faster receivers, it didn't look good. That's all <laughs> I can say. Hard, I can't, man. listen, I can't, I can't argue the other things. I can just tell you what I saw. Hatter House says, all I got to say is our defense better be top 15 to 20. 29 ain't going to cut it. Okay, well, we're going to find out. Yeah. But if they, but if they're not a top defense, they're going to, I'm telling you what's going to happen. If they're not a top defense, they're going to say, they're going to say, fire Aaron Glenn. That's going to be the scapegoat. So, again, I get it, but I want to hear y'all viewpoint of it. I don't really give a shit because at the end of the day, I Man. believe that the general manager is doing what I always saw him doing. Let me bring in my next guest so he can talk his piece. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. The goddamn, his name went off the screen. There you go. My man Greasy in the building. What's going on, brother? Bro, bro, bro. Hey, what do you got for me, man? What do you think about this? I mean, I think we just stand average. And there's no really no upgrades or nothing, bro. You say what now? It ain't, it ain't, we stand average. Ain't really upgrades. Oh, God. Like, ain't, ain't nobody we pick up like I'm like, oh, yeah. But, just, like, yeah. Well, I heard a bell. I don't know where it came from, but it was timed perfectly. <laughs> 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 hey, no, I, I, I ain't I Man, yeah, I like I do, hey, listen, I'm asking questions and they think it's just my personal view. My personal view is that when I look at this team, oh Lord, both good. our biggest problem <laughs> was defense. It is what it is. Luke in here is shitting all over free agent moves like he was force fed ketchup flavor. <laughs> <laughs> ketchup flavor. I'm not, like I'm it not like shitting on it. Flavors. I'm asking questions. I ain't no love. Like says that he had flavors. But I'm but I'm asking oh, questions real. though. I li- listen, every person I hey, I started out with two questions and I said the floor is yours, which means that I'm allowed for any person to come in here, ask that, answer those questions, and then proceed on with how they view things. I have left it open for you to do what you want. And people want to treat it like, oh, you just don't want to say this. The same people I mean, who, who said I was crazy for saying Okuda ain't worth a top 10 pick and that he's a safety. The same people who told me I was crazy for saying fire uh, Matt Patricia after the first season. And they said it takes three years to build a culture, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dan Campbell over here saying, hold my beard, did it in one season. The same people who want to keep bringing up when I'm wrong but can't talk about when I'm right. I'm just trying to figure out when are we going to get real with each other for a moment? All I did was ask a goddamn question, a fair question. That's all I'm saying. The Lions are in a position to take a next step. I got questions. I asked you, what did they improve? I asked you, do you believe that that defense have people who were free agents that should have been brought back? I asked you another question out here in the gate where I don't know who got the chip back, but I got to take you out because that is really loud. Right. Yeah, it was loud. Tear my ear. That was a fresh bag of Doritos. It had to be. Yeah. Well. I, I, and I asked you this question right here: Have the Lions done enough thus far in free agency to give you confidence they're heading in the right direction to contend in this division? If your answer to all that is yes, great. If your answer to all that is no, great. I want to hear from you. That's what my point is. That's all I'm doing. Uh, Troy says exactly, fearless. Uh, why bring back guys that made our defense terrible? 
Look, look, let me ask you, do you think the Bears improved? Do I think who? The Bears improved. I believe that the Bears improved by virtue that half the people they had were hurt and not available, but that admins deal was 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 ridiculous. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have paid I them that. Um, that. I wouldn't have paid them that. In fact, I think if I'm not mistaken, let me go back up. I think they're above us. Yeah, so I think adding Demarcus Walker is it an upgrade for them. Yeah. They didn't they really didn't have nothing there. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I think bringing in TJ Edwards is a nice upgrade for them because they, they moved on from Roquan Smith. And I feel like TJ Edwards is decent enough that he's he's a solid player. Uh, obviously, the trade made me even happier because I'm like, y'all took way less than what y'all probably could have got, so kudos to y'all for it. You get a fast receiver um, who I, I'm i not afraid of, but, hey, it is what it is. Last time they played us, I think he torched our ass. So, um, DJ Moore. I could have sworn that was him that torched us. Maybe I'm thinking of a different hey, receiver. He didn't torch us that game. All the running backs torched us. Oh, yeah, I forgot that part. We're going to leave that alone, though. <laughs> we, we got, that was a weird game. Wait, wait. I'm, still, weird I'm still thinking game. about – I'm still thinking about – I forget, Listen, this is how you know I'm so traumatized about what they did to us uh, last season with that run rushing attack. But I'm still traumatized about when they fire, fired Patricia and how them goddamn receivers was running wild. Like, like there was no wrong they can do. So, off rip. That's a lot in that Carolina game, bro. I don't even want to talk mean, about that for real. If I can yeah. go back on the Sutton thing, at least because on my mock drafts, I always double down on cornerback. Now I have to be like, well, I got Sutton now, so I don't have to worry about the slot. Now I don't have to double down as much on corner. And I, imagine- I mean, I, I mean, it just depends on how you want to go about doing it. Yeah. I'm I'm still in a wait and see mode. Yeah, because most of what I most of what I say is not for now. It's about does it age well? Like we had like like we had a guy I did a video on where he basically made a racist comment about Samoans and not being good in the NFL. Remember that guy who was talking oh, about yeah, Penny yeah. yeah, that shit did not age well. It didn't. Oh, and God, so, no, it so did. off rip, I, I, I bodied it. That's what it was. So Isn't uh, Apollo Malu, he's a, he's a lion. Now, now, let me ask this question. I'm curious about this, too. If the Lions are sitting up there and Jalen Carter's on the board, this is to the chat. If the Lions are sitting up there and Jalen Carter's on the board, and they take a cornerback. Are you guys upset? Hell yeah. Oh, I'd be oh, God, no, not a corner. I'd be sick. I ain't gonna oh, be sick. Damn it. I didn't. There's no You'd be sick? here. I'd be sick. I'm sorry, Anthony, if you're watching, man. I, I can't do Witherspoon at six. Sorry, man. I'm just saying, like to the to the to the to the chat. If if Carter is sitting there at six, because it's probably a good chance he will be, and the Lions decide that. They're going to take a corner, whether it's Gonzalez, whether it's Witherspoon, whoever. Are you going to be okay with that? I want to be dead to me. Valerie, uh, a, a Lions fan and a Bears fan, says, I'm not mad at Admin's deal. It's a bit more than I wanted to pay, but with all the money the Bears have, they out here acting like they got stripper money at the club. <laughs> yeah. They, I think they spent, I think they spent like 90%. Of their cap in day one, like that's that's a lot. At least I heard something like that. I, I bet you any amount of money, Luke. This defense after this draft will be top ten. You want to do that? No, don't do it. I'm not. Well, Luke, you do it. Luke, you do it. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what. I, I'll bet this: if the Lions' oh. defense, if the Lions' defense. It's top ten, now, DJ. I will. I will not only let you do a full takeover. I will let you do a full takeover, and you can say whatever you want to me. I'm gonna take it like a boss, right? I'm gonna take it like a boss. You can come on, call me all kind of dumbasses and everything. I'm cool with it. But if the Lions' hey. defense is not top ten, if the Lions' defense is not top ten, I want you not to change your name, but I want you to come on the show and, and eat this crow. That's all I'm asking. Very simple. Let me let me say to you all the things that you could have said to me. They ain't I'll make that, that deal. They ain't gonna do that. I'm just asking. Uh, I, even I'm not thinking they're gonna be top ten. That's just... it'd be brand hey, fifteen, maybe. I can think Luke. that. Yes, sir. I, I know you saw how the Eagles took with Sean Penny. Say that what I I know you seen the Eagles take with Sean Penny. You know B. John Robinson for all of them. 
I told the you. The Eagles signed who? They took the Seahawks. Oh, really? Is that a rumbling going around? Uh, no, that's they signed him. Very good sign. See, but you, I'm gonna tell you why. The low ball they, deal too. I'm gonna tell you why. They they know that that trade that the Bears made changes the way they can do stuff on a board, right? There are gonna be some names that shouldn't be there, and when those names fall to them, they will take them. But I think that they won't beat John Robinson. I don't believe that B. John Robinson get past the Eagles. I think that they got Rashawn Penny. That's cool. But they ran like three running backs last year. And, 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 and Luke, Luke, just today, they signed another running back, Boston Scott. Yeah, I know. They, I feel they ran three running backs. So I know that, they, that they're going to still add. All right, let me see if I can get them in here. Oh, hey, dude. Anyways, cooking is it with, working? Cooking with Crimson. Cops and Cal TV, is it working? You might, you there, buddy? Nope, nothing. I got oh, that boy Crimson Cook. Hey, Crimson looks like he was looking for his dog or something. You there, buddy? Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> what I mean. If B. John is there at 18 and Holmes takes him, are y'all going to be pissed? I would take him no. at six. No. The I only person mad. I won't take B. John over is Carter. That's all I'm saying. Would you be mad if we took Cancy at six, or what would you? Yeah, be like, nah. I, okay, listen, I was wondering. Listen, that. listen. You gotta, you gotta understand something. If you're taking Cancy at six, then you're telling me you're addressing the interior of the defense. Great. Now we got to just see what our safeties do because they're going to be here. And we got to see what our middle linebacker do because he's obviously going to be here. Anceloni is going to be here. And there's no way of getting around that. Uh, Cosmic uh, Cal TV, let's see if you're ready to rock and roll. I'm going to try this one more time. You got to unmute your mic, though. You there? Peace, peace, peace. Peace, man. Peace Peace to all y'all brothers, man. All right. Go, All right, man. Me, me, Sorry me, about that earlier. Uh, let me let me give you. Let me give you I, it, it, see, I want to make sure I can hear what you got to say. What, what, what are your thoughts on the Lions' free agency so far? Oh well, it seems like don't nobody just want to come out and just just spit the real. This is a terrible free agency so far. It's Will Hair bringing Will Harris, bringing Anzalone, uh pieces. Pieces that could easily be replaced. Now I've been rocking with my boy Luke G, probably about three, about three, about three years or so right now. Now, had they had just drafted Simmons three years ago, we're not even talking about Anzalone right now. Had nope. they listened to my brother back when he told them, "Do not draft." Okuda at three is too high. We're not even talking about this. Nope. And then we maybe it, it, these are players, and uh, in, in the players that could have been taken were impact players on other teams. Great. So you dig what I'm saying? This is why I like Luke G because he actually spit the real. You dig what I'm talking about? It's not about. And then this is the, this is the problem I got with the Lions. The Lions have no dogs on a team. They have no killer in them. They have no grit, no intestinal fortitude. They don't have a guy who's just going to walk up and, and punch a guy in the face and kick a guy and go sack the quarterback three times in a game. We don't have we don't have dogs on our team. We got on our we defense. got shit zoos, you know. And on our defense, on our, especially on our defense, we have no dogs. Listen, my my pick, my pick for six, my pick for six is a dude uh, like Jalen Carter. That that that's my personal pick. You dig that's what I'm saying? Pick. And then I go get that's the quarterback. Pick. I go get the, I go get the quarterback from TCU. You dig what I'm talking about? I'm tired of Boyo. I'm tired of golf. You dig what I'm saying? And it's time for an upgrade. You know what I mean? You go get you, you go get the boy who I think gonna golf? gonna who the Duggan kid? No, no, the TCU I'm, I'm, QB. Listen, I'm, not, listen, I'm giving you I'm giving you your opportunity to speak because I, I I opened it up. Usually, you know, I usually say what I gotta say. Then I open it up later. I came out the gate with it open, like y'all talk to me, <laughs> and all I got told is yeah. I'm hating. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, 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 you're not hating. The floor up to you, you're not to hating. You guys are saying, and I'm asking fair questions. Where did we improve that? And I'm not acting as if we didn't. 
I'm not acting as if though I'm trying to make it seem like, oh, well, I just know what's so much better for the team. I'm asking you guys, where do we improve at? Where do you truly believe we improve that? And the people who answer that question, thank you. I appreciate that because that's what that's what I want to do. I want to have a conversation to talk about it. Um, um we didn't improve at all, Luke. At all, whatsoever. I, I just I just we looked didn't. at it like this. Like, like I just looked at it like this. To me, I don't get upset at the free agency no more than I get hyped for draft because I have figured out one thing about Brad Holmes is when he's going to do certain things, it's not going to matter. My issues with Brad Holmes when I first even brought Brad Holmes' name up was because everybody wanted to fire Dan Campbell. And I went, well, hold on. This defense was garbage three years before Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell got here. And two years into it, you mm-hmm. had a chance to improve that defense, and you you didn't. I said, mm-hmm. so this is another another year where you got a chance to go into the free agency and draft and improve the team. And so I'm going to wait and see. Because when I say things, it's not about it being right in the moment. It's about will it age well? Does it age well? I told people, everybody and their mother, choose me a new one because of a cooter. And I said, okay. Y'all think y'all see what y'all see. I showed you film and showed you what yep. he was doing. And I said, this is what he's doing. And I said, I said, this is the reality of it. And I said, he does he that game he had against Michigan, they should have called him for about a hundred pass interference. They didn't. People was like, No, nah, you mm. crazy, Luke. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Meanwhile, here we are trying to figure out how to move on from him. And I kept telling people, if you move him to safety, you're gonna get way more out of him. So I'm not I'm not looking to get no flowers because I don't expect to do it. I expect to be told I'm a hater. I expect for the same people who told me it takes three years for you to build a culture to still come in here and tell me I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Why? That's the that's the job I'm doing. And at the end of the day, you know, you know, I, I'm expecting that to happen. So, you know, Dan, no no offense, no offense Crimson, but we no offense, Crimson, but we're not doing the home cooking network. So we we talking sports. I don't want you being distracting. When when we talk in sports, I don't want to have that come up. I want to keep it about the sports. Although it did look delicious, with, you know, with it you made, but it's, I don't want to have that up there. So um, it's not going to get in the way, dude. Don't the, worry. About the it. fact it's is, Luke, better, we didn't man. get better. I don't, you know, we got a lot of lion stands up here. You dig what I'm talking about? Who's seen it done wrong so long? You dig what I'm talking about? Did they think when a bad move is made, well, it's just par for the course. Well, dude, we ain't won nothing in 60 years. When it, we, Now, I, I think Holmes has a way of doing things, so I'm not going to go eight crazy, but they also do. They also uh, play a game of favoritism. They, dude, they didn't even draft Okuda. Why are y'all holding on to him? Why are y'all He's he's not a, a Holmes guy. Well, well, sh- for, well forget so, Okuda. So, forget Okuda. Why are you holding on to Will Harris? Yeah. Like, let's just start there. He's a gadget player. Yeah. Oh. That's why he's here. Yeah, but that's no excuse to uh to to mess up our cap. You dig what I'm saying? Listen, you could have threw a rock it, it, at any linebacker in the NFL, any one of them on free agency, and it would have been an upgrade from Anzalone. You could have in we look- have better oh. players, actually, who sit the bench. We have better players who sit the bench. So this, this is the favoritism that, that I don't like that I see in the Lions. I want the best players, and I want dogs on my team. I want That's people what I want. to... That's what to, I want. to, to I want when when they used to play the old Ravens, right? And you had Ed Reed back there, and you had uh, Ray Lewis. Those guys were worried. I mean, I'm on 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 the on the uh, on the Tuesday when they came back to practice. The first thing they were talking about was that middle linebacker at safety. You see what I'm yeah, saying? I, mean, I, I want some guys and, who strike me, fear in me, people. To me, that's that's all I'm asking for. Uh, Nick Gunjack, man, that's a hell of a fucking name. That's awesome. <laughs> <love> that. <laughs> he, he says getting a top twenty five corner isn't getting better. Um, yeah, in my opinion, uh-huh. if I'm at, if I'm at six, I'm taking B. John Robinson. If Carter is not there, if Carter's there, I'm taking Carter. And let's say Carter is there at six, and I take Carter at eighteen. Y'all ain't gonna like this. Go defense again. 
No, I wouldn't even go defense. You because at that point, at 18, you can kind of play it a little bit different. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, you I would go guard. I would go guard go because ahead. I would not want to just go ahead and, and re up because at this point, I don't know how the hell Big V still holding on. It's time for them to cut him, but I don't know how he's holding on. I would go guard. And if it, if guard is not there, and for some strange reason, Joey Porter Jr. is there, then I may go go defense again. I heard but, it was restructuring Big V's contract. But I know I heard they're gonna restructure it, but I, I want more. Uh, I want to bring in another person, Lions Rumble eighty one. I'm bringing him in so oh. he can talk about it. I just want I'm, just, I'm really leaving it open. The link is in the description for you to jump in and talk your stuff. I'm not stopping anybody. Feel free to jump in and have the conversation. Lions Rumble eighty one. What's going on, brother? What up, y'all boys, man? Thank you for having me. Hey, listen. Hey, I'm happy to see you here. I'm gonna ask you the same thing. You know, what are your thoughts about the Lions uh, free agency so far? Um, you know, are you uh, do you what what did we improve? Um, and do you believe that the Lions had players on that defense last year who should have been retained? Uh, yes, I do. Only because, again, the familiar the familiarity of the of the bunch of the unit sometimes it's hard to break a chink in that in that you know in that chain. Um, I understand why they brought in the 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 cornerback. Again, we forgot we we drafted Chase Lucas. You know, we we didn't really see a lot of him last year. Uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know if he's going to be able to come back. Uh, and I, I think the, the signing of that that cornerback, uh, you know, kind of put Jeff Okuda on the burner. Now it's now or never. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't see. You know, we kind of did the same thing last year to T.J. Hawkinson. So. If we do draft a corner, then that kind of lets me know that, you know, Okuda's on his way out, out the door. Um, I, I'm, I'm okay with the signings, man. You know, they, they got a, you know, they got the Tennessee connection with Mosley and, and uh, you know, and the, and the cornerback. Uh, so hopefully those two, you know, on the field again, uh, you know, hopefully they, they bring some dynamic that we haven't seen yet. And, and again, we, we, we have uh, Dre Bly, you know, uh, kind of taking over for where Aubrey Pleasant was. And and we know, you know, Dre was a dog. So hopefully he can implement some 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 fight in these boys and, and you know, some real grit because that's what we need in that secondary. We don't need no, you know, no kittens, you know, purring. We need some we need some lions out there roaring and, and turning, getting turnovers and, and laying the lumber out there, man. Uh, and listen, I ain't mad at it. Uh, combat stacks, <laughs> combat sack say, Beijing at six. What you smoking, Luke? Listen, I know, I know it sounds crazy, right? But I want you to hear me, right? You realize that your running backs on roster are Craig Reynolds, DeAndre Swift. Them is pretty much the rest of the people don't even freaking matter, right? DeAndre Swift, a guy who I absolutely love. I have been beating the table saying that he needs to be the starter. The full fledged starter, not no split reps. The majority of the carry needs to go his way. I have said that for him the entire time. And it, and when he does get that, he shows he's explosive and everything. The problem is, is oh. that oh. once you get past those two, you really don't have another running back. And with B. John, you get a little bit of power, you get a little bit of elusiveness, you get a little bit of everything. And the reason I said B. John at six is because at this point, Given what I'm seeing in terms of our direction, I'm trying to keep people off the field and on their toes. And if you can do a switcheroo between B. John and Swift, I think that has more impact than, say, a cornerback. Now, if you're telling me, again, that Carter is there, he's my first choice, right? The only other choice outside of Carter that I want above Carter is trading out of that pick for more draft capital that gives us an additional first round pick in next year's draft and maybe some other capital in next year's draft and this year's draft. But if that option is not there and Carter is not there and you don't feel that any of the top three favorite quarterbacks are still on the board for you to take, then Bijan Robinson is my guy because I'm not taking a corner at six. There is, I love Joey Porter Jr. I think Joey Porter Jr. is a nice cornerback and I'm not willing to take him at six because I can take somebody who can give me a little bit more impact and be John Robinson. That is what I'm smoking on. Exactly. Again, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be, you know, your cup of tea or your flavor of, of ganja, but that's my, my thought process of thinking of that. Um, 
One Prime 40 says, oh, wait, wait, man, I hear something. He's getting in their car. Let me see, hold on. Nope, that ain't him. I don't know who that is. That's a Ford. I know that. I know that jingle anywhere. <laughs> a Ford? What the heck? <laughs> I know that jingle. I know the Oh, Ford my jingle. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Is he right? I don't. I mean, I'm serious. Is, is he right? I, I know, know I'm right. I know that's Ford. I would be. Shocked yeah, he right. right. <laughs> Get the hell out yeah, of here! Right. <laughs> Redneck power. Yeah, he's right. Redneck power. Yeah, he's right. I didn't know. What dogs is a free agent that's still on the market? Beautiful question. Beautiful question. Mm. And it's one right of them. Over. That's another thing. It's one of them that I. And this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to have conversations. Uh, people that I believe are still out there. Let me see if I can bring it up on the screen. Um, I do I do like the Sutton move just because now I don't have to worry about drafting like a, a corner in the top now. Now at least I know I got something there, you know, that isn't just a Cuda or a Monty. I'm listening. I'm listening. So y'all talking, right, about, y'all talking about Sutton in the slot. All right, but what's, what's slot receivers? They're fast. You have trouble with fast receivers. That's not. So let me go back to the top. I'll show y'all people who I believe are still dogs that I can, that I would be more than happy to bring in. Let's. And like Levante Bobby. David is one. He's one. So he's one of the people I wouldn't mind bringing in. Byron Murphy's another because he's scrappy. You know, right. I know he was hurt, but I know he's scrappy. Um, I can't do nothing with Joe jo David and Clowney. So don't nobody dare try to bring that BS up to me. Yeah. Um, Drew Tranquil is one of the ones that I hope that we still get. Uh, Cole Holcomb, yes. I hope I would, I would take him too. Uh, let's see. Uh, nope, don't want him. Uh, Miles Calais, when did Calais Campbell become a free agent today? But they're talking about they're they gonna resign him already. They was already talking about the Baltimore. Gonna ah. Oh, I'm like, when the hell did that happen? That, the day that was news to me, y'all. That just kind of shocked me. I was like, wait a minute, what the hell? All right, uh, let me see who else out there that I would take that I would be happy with. Shit, Flesher Cox. Cox, yeah, I'd rock, yeah, I would take him. Shit, that, I mean, yeah. listen, I'm not trying to be funny, Fuck yeah. Um. Is that another Justin Houston? Greg Gaines? Late, we could have had Leighton Vander Ash. Could have. You know, but I would have took him. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see. Aishon, I mean, were you okay with him coming back? Nah, Aishon can say where the hell he at. I'm good on him. Um, Robert Tony. Um, maybe, but I ain't worried about him trying to get him that bad. Let me see. I'm fine with our tight ends. I would love Gardner Mishu. He would be a damn oh, good backup. Yeah. A damn good backup. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? I love me some But guard. we probably would never touch him. Um, let's see. Nelson Irv Adams. Smith, oh. I went mine. I mean, th- th- that's basically where I'm at. So there's a few people still out there in terms of this top 101 that I would touch. So if that answers your question, yeah, those are people that I would deem dog or um, you know better players that can really help this team. Oh, absolutely. Um, I would take I would take all linebackers, but we have three already now. Oh, you wrong, Detroit. <laughs> uh, Val says, "Luke, do you want do you want Boyle's back? No, I don't want Boyle back. That's Tim Boyle is your problem. That's a Bears issue, not mine." Um, cooking an egg live is embarrassing. Come on, man. Uh, if you want a slot corner, get Clark Phillips in the second. That's a let me see. Uh, I want to make sure I ain't missing uh, nobody. What about that uh, Tomlinson kid from TCU? I wouldn't mind him as our slot corner. Hey, my man, my man uh, Rumble had to dip. I appreciate him for coming through. He had to, he's at work and he came through and stuff. So I oh, appreciate cool. that again. Hi, Rumble. Now again, my view is not what I'm looking at here. I'm looking at the view of you. This is your opportunity. There is literally a link. In the description for you to join the show and talk your stuff. Come on, literally, here, literally there for you to talk it. It's for you to give me your opinions. And for me, my opinion is simple. I got it linked pinned up at the top. I just double checked it. It's still there. My opinion is simple and it's not complicated. It's just, yo, what did we improve? I mean. Like you I know? said, it ain't much, but I'm I'm happy that we at least got some corners and addressed something to the need. It may not be the guy I wanted, but hey, by all means, I'm at least glad we're knowing that we're weak in this division, not lying to ourselves. And and again, 
it's I haven't even gotten that far into it because I feel like this is much of what I've seen. So I don't I don't trip over things that I've already seen it, you know. Yeah, yeah. You don't judge until you see the whole body of work. We haven't even got to we're not done with free agency and we're not we're done with the draft. And once everything's done said, then we'll judge it as a whole. Yeah, I just I just I just well, you know, it says sit back and be patient, let Brad Holmes cook. I, I'm yeah, good. That's what we're doing. I'm good. I want to know what y'all feel. How how are y'all feeling about this? You know what yeah. I mean? Like I want to I want to know what are y'all thoughts on this? I mean, Greasy, you're okay, aren't you? You're okay with it. It's not like it's inoffensive. Hey, shout out to Anthony from okay. Royal Alliance UK. He says, "How's my favorite <laughs> better looking sibling <laughs> getting on, getting on today?" Love. From UK, Luke. Hey, man, I'm good, brother. But you know, you you know, you look better now. Come on, stop playing. You want to get all the ladies over there, man? I'm you not. Got, you, got, you got the voice and everything. You know how it is. Oh yeah, he does, dude. I pay money for to see a picture of Anthony with Alex Anzalone hair. Hey, so I'm just saying. I love I'm, it. I'm just saying. Now, granted, I'm out here giving people opportunity to speak their piece. I'm just saying. Uh, let's get Earl Holmes out of retirement to be that dog at linebacker. Damn, you trying to. <laughs> You the way people that. talking about slot cornerbacks will have you thinking they're talking long snapper. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> uh, Nick says still need a receiver. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me go. I'm going down. Dude just came on the stream to complain. Dude just came on the stream to complain. Huh? I Dude, think he's referring who? To you. Who came on the stream to complain? Oh, no. Aaron Rodgers washed his hair before Crimson. <laughs> That's so silly. Y'all ignorant. Shout out to Crimson, man. Crimson, be, he showed love all the time. Luke, you know that pink stuff that they put in the, in the chicken nuggets at McDonald's? Yeah. That's what these guys remind. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Hey, let me break back uh, my man, man Cosmic, Cal TV. Now, let me ask y'all another question. Right now, so far, what's your favorite signing in the free agency? We start off with you. Uh, Greasy, what's your favorite signing so far? Like recent, well, players that they yeah. brought. Yeah, like players that we already that, that we brought in for free agency. Like I want to know what's your favorite. If you need me, bring it back up, and I can tell you who is. Um, I can tell you who is basically um, not on this list. Like Mosley was signed, resigned. Will Harris was resigned. So Big. I'm putting it up there. Uh, who's your favorite free agent Big. that we re- that we signed? Bigs. Bigs, Bugs. Yeah. I mean, is it yeah, Bugs? Bugs? Okay, all right, Bugs. Who's your favorite resign, uh, resign, or your favorite free agent signing? Uh, Crimson. My personal favorite. I'm really happy to have Kaminsky back. Okay, all right. Um, Look. Cosmic Cal like TV. Who, who's your favorite uh, free agent that we signed? Uh, even though he's hurt or is coming off an injury. I think the Mosley guy uh, will will push Okuda if he can be healthy. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, how about some ketchup flavor lemonade? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's terrible, bro. That's, that'll even that's sound good. Uh, John Johnson, that's just wrong. definitely Kominsky. Uh, Sutton, Kominsky, Bugs, the rest can dip. Damn. Sutton, Kaminsky, Bugs, and the rest can dip. So he basically saying Reynolds can go. He's saying Alex Anzalone can go. Mosley can go. Will Harris can go. Um, damn. Boy, and take Sutton with you. He said, Craig Ferguson says Jack Frost is annoying. We are not allowed to criticize or question Holmes. I don't, it's a lot of people that don't want me criticizing Holmes. I, that's fine. My, again, my stuff that I say is not meant to be for now. It's meant to see if it aged well. And what I know is going to happen is um, um, if, if something goes left or wrong or just not, the first thing they're going to say is fire Aaron Glenn. He is the scapegoat. So pay attention. Didn't they, just be um, Didn't they already just say fire Aaron Glenn last season? Oh, yeah. They was ready to fire him and, and um, Dan Campbell. They didn't, didn't they give Aaron Glenn a contract extension or something like that? Yeah, they did. Now, wait a minute. Anthony. You didn't read that? Yeah. They re-signed Will Harris. Yeah, he's back. He's back. He said, what? did Luke just say Will Harris Terrible. is back? Don't make me pull out the rest of my hair, damn it. No, that's, that's, <laughs> he's, I'm serious. They re-signed him to a one-year deal. That's what I read when I was online. I, I'm Anthony like, oh, probably back. got the Mr. Burns hairdo. 
Hey, listen, I <laughs> hey, hey Luke, I think you do. He do got something over the organization. Smithers. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I think a lot of people are not going to be happy with a lot of the things, but we had to see. Craig, we all just bust each other's balls, man. Don't take it personal. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. When Kaminsky comes back from injury, Aiden started balling out. I believe it was Miko. Uh, shout out to Miko from Questionable Podcast and them, and them boys over there. They be doing their damn thing. He's really good in the but, That's what I like. but hold on, Crimson. Miko made a statement where he said Aiden Hudson is like Greek yogurt. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? And he says, Greek yogurt by itself, plain, it's just boring. There's nothing exciting about it. It's not really good. He said, but if you add fruit to it or some honey to it, it tastes really good and it's so much better. And that's how he described um, Aiden Hudson. And so when I see comments like this, I go back to that that reference that, that Miko made. And I went, wow, I guess the whole reference was spot on when you got people who will miss that when Komiski came in there eight and started getting off. Yeah. So if that's what it takes for him to get off, then fine. Then let Komiski stay, right? I mean, hell, Ash never gave up Pikachu, and he refused to evolve on his ass. So at the end of the day, I'm cool, right? You know, so. Going. Hey, you know. Luke. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Luke, let me ask you a question. There is a guy. Somewhere in 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 this draft, he's not he's not really well known, but he is a baller, a dog that we could probably get maybe on the second day. That that that's a that's a late round draft. You know what I mean? Who is that guy that could fit our needs? You know what I mean? That'll fit one of the uh the the holes we need to plug. Who may not be so well known. In the second day, in day two, day two. That, hmm. All right, so let's. I got to play a little devil's advocate. Let's say we get Carter at six. Let's say we we mess around and get a cornerback at eighteen. Right. Right. Day two, you got pick forty nine. I'm looking at who can possibly still be there. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of people that can still be there because at that point. You can pretty much go a number of ways, but to me, it's a Vila from TCU. That guard, mm. that guard to me, when I watch him, I'm just like, yo, this, you, this, this guy right here is going to be a, a, an amazing player. He is so he aggressive. manhandled Michigan. And the boys so, up there, he, he was so powerful, and he did he didn't do all that bad against Georgia neither. When you look at it, and it's like, yep. yo. You know, this Neither. guy this guy showed tremendous poise, strength, power, and everything. A Vila for me would be that guy. I would love to have a Vila um, you know, from out of TCU. I we need a guard. He will fit exactly what we do here. You would be able to then, you know, continue to build that lineup um and 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 really start to figure out how you want to move people. You'll be able to uh, talk about taking a tackle the year after. I mean, you got so many options. So for me, it's a Vila. I hope people ignore him, but I think he'll be there day two. <coughs> Any other cool, questions cool, y'all have cool. in the chat? Put them in the chat. I mean, I'm down for it. I don't think I don't I don't think Hendon Hooker makes it to us at 49. Remember, we picked 49 and 56. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's 48 actually, but technicalities be. Is it 48? Well, it yeah, is we 48. Can, I've done a lot of mock drafts. Okay, we can check it. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, you know what? Because they, they took a pick out, right? Somebody forfeited a pick, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Miami. Miami forfeited a pick. Yeah, that's what it was. I knew it was something like that. All right. So, okay. So, it's 48. I don't think he lasts to pick 48. It's funny. I either take him or Jack Campbell, actually. I was just recently taking that guard you were mentioning. Yeah, Avila, Avila to me, I want him. So, we got 48 and 55. I don't think he lasts that far. I, you cool with Jack Campbell? I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why I'm cool with him, but why I'm not. I'm cool with him because I think he'd have been a good off-ball linebacker. Yeah. I'm not because you just resigned Alex Anselmo. Why not have more linebackers? Because now you and now you got to remember my my criteria is you have five picks in the top 80, 80, 80 Now is it the top eighty? I want to say eighty-one. Uh, eighty-one. So you got, you got five picks in the top eighty-one. Right, I need to walk out with four day one starters. 
Facts. Notice I didn't say. Notice I didn't say impact or not. I said day one starters. Take it how you want to. They need to come out and start four day one starters. Mm. Four of those five picks need to come out as day one starters. If they don't, we got a problem. That's the problem. We cannot have that. So um, that didn't sound like a Ford. You know. So yeah, in my opinion, when you got five of the top eighty-one picks, you know that's how it is. Um, Look, nobody's coming out with that three years in a row. Nobody's coming out with that three years in a row. I mean, mm-hmm. there's teams that do it. Baltimore can get you a good number of starters. They've drafted well for years. I mean, if you know what you're doing, you can get at least – we've done it two times in a row, so why not a third time in a row? It's not impossible. Now, here's my thing. I think the Dr. Detroit is trying to say that nobody's getting – Four day one day one starters. Four day one starters at three times in a row. Why not? There's teams that do it. I mean, that's like nobody gets hit by lightning twice or three times. It's happened. Like it's <laughs> possible. Stranger, yeah, stranger things have happened. Like, why not? Like, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to like, you know. It says Holmes wallet is empty. Why I'm okay with him not spending money. This is the thing. People don't get it. Spending all this money in free agency does not yield wins. Win, I'm yeah. cool with that. As you don't want to you don't want to spend the money. I'm cool with that. But what you can do is make smart investments. Like for example, if we're talking money, right? Let's say you go out and you buy a house, right? You go out and buy a house. And let's say the house cost you $150,000, right? For this house that you bought. Right? Now, you decide, hey, instead of me living in the house, I'm going to rent the house out. My, let's say your mortgage for that house is, I don't know, $1,000. If you rent the house out for $800, you are paying that on there. You're making an investment. The investment is coming back in. Cool. But guess what you can do? Let's say you just have three, four years, five years down the road. You don't want the house anymore. You can resell the house and still garner value off of the house. So my issue is when I'm, when I'm looking at free agency, who can I go out and get? That brings me serious impact value to this team. That brings me uh, some type of value. And when I'm done with it, if need be, I can move them along and get something in return. Get some interest. Yeah, I know what you're yeah and get something in return. Because even when I draft players, I'm looking at, hey, if this don't work out, who can I you know, still get something off of? People forget. Certain people have been traded for less, and I'm just trying to get the value. So I'm okay with him not spending the money. I just want him to spend money on 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 people that brings more value to it. I don't think you can trade Alex Anzalone. I don't think nobody's look. You know, you're gonna have to wait for somebody to have a team riddled with injuries, and then that'll be it. When do you think Hendon Hooker? Go ahead. Austin did say that one more time, Greasy. I'm sorry, I missed it. Somebody said that Will Harris ain't gonna make the 53 roster. Y'all said that last year and he did. He probably won't, but I don't know. So until I see it, it is what it is. When do you think Hendon Hooker will be drafted? Does anyone besides Luke think he could be a late first rounder? So this question is to y'all. Do y'all believe Hendon Hooker is what do y'all think he's gonna be drafted at? I think he's I think at the very least, he don't get past the Rams in the second round. They're trying to trade Stafford. I think he gets picked up at least. I think he'll still be there at 48, but I think somewhere like 55 or maybe not 55, but uh, 56, 57, he'll probably still be somewhere around there. Because that air raid system, a lot of people are either worried about the injury or they're worried about his age or they're worried about him only knowing like seven plays in the air raid system. They're going to they're gonna give him crap about that. But there's somebody will take him. Yep. Uh, Kobe says, Luke, you don't like the Mosley and Sutton pickups? I don't hate them and I don't like them. I feel that these are basically Brad home moves, and so I've learned to accept what they do and wait to see how they perform. Because anytime I give any pre-statement about a player and it comes true, everybody hides their hands in their head and don't say crap. But when something goes wrong, everybody wants to point that wrong out like they've just been waiting for that moment. So I just – I don't like it. I don't hate it. I know that I'm not a fan of us taking a guy who's coming off an injury. Uh, I know that. And, 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 and mostly I don't like the idea. Had he not came off an injury, I'd probably have been like, oh, okay, let's see what he can do. Uh, in the case of Sutton, Sutton to me, in my opinion, 
is not a number one corner. And I think he barely is a number two corner. Um, and at best, he's probably a slot corner, in my opinion. Could be wrong because when I watch him against these faster receivers, it, 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 I don't see it. Bears are going to Bears are going beast mode, and we are signing Will Harris. Will Harris is special. You leave him alone. Are you really starters besides quarterbacks or O line in the NFL now with all these different packages and rotations? I look at players that contribute. They're still starters. Uh, you can tell that by the number of snaps that they take. You can tell that by when the game first start the damn thing, who's out there on the field first. Um, this, you know, the packages and stuff like that is cool. People can contribute, right? Like, like in a lot of households, that's a contributor, but there's always somebody who probably makes more money than the other one in most cases. And that's the truth. And so the reality is, is yeah, you can have a contributor. Contributors are great. I, I encourage contributors, but the reality is, is yeah, there are real starters. There are real starters. Like, like nobody comes in, nobody is starting over Aiden Hutchinson on this team. It's just not happening. Not happening. He's a starter. So yeah, I do believe that starters are, are a real thing in the NFL. Uh, the Duran says we in here. What up, though? Welcome to the show. Also, to claim, um, the Bears are playing with stupid money right now. The amount of money they're spending, they're going to be so screwed in the cap in the future. I'm predicting that. The Dern says a quarterback at six be John with our second. I don't think he gets past the Eagles. My soul said the Eagles is not passing on B. John. I just, I just don't think it. I don't think they're going to do it. The quarterback at six, I put that idea out there. I got my asshole chewed out. Okay. I put it out there because I told people that you, if you really want a quarterback this year, you're probably going to have to do it at six because I don't see you getting too many more options of value down the stretch. And since how that quarterback oh, no. don't have to start this year, that's the best time to do it where you can select your guy at that point. They didn't like that. And I said, take B. John at six because I don't think he get past the Eagles. But, you know, maybe maybe you saying it, they might change it. <laughs> they, no. they may they may I mean, change it. I'm just don't thinking pick no about quarterback. It. I don't want that. No. Oh. I honestly, if I'm going to guess, I can't see the Seahawks giving up on Carter. I can, if Carter or Anderson are there, they're definitely going to take him because the Seahawks aren't dumb. Yeah, and and I, I just look at it like this. We know who we play next year. We don't know when we play them, but we know who we play next year. If you look at what all the other teams are doing, right, have you done enough to compete for next year? You're going to play the Broncos, and they are completely rebuilding their offensive line, right? You're going to play um, um, the Packers, who could be without Aaron Rodgers, and so maybe that gives you two more games, right? You know that the Vikings has dismantled their defense. Um, Davenport don't scare me, so whatever. So that's you know that that might be a thing. Bears, the Bears are still trying to make everything. Excuse me, the Bears are trying to make everything gel. So yeah, you might be able to do some damage in the division. But ultimately, when you're looking at the roster moves we made, obviously we still got to wait until the draft happen. I can't say that enough. But when you look at it, I just ask the question: Do you? Um, do you do you believe that we upgraded, and do you believe that they they should have brought many of these people that they returned back back? Um, somebody said, "Did I miss him? Who was a tank top doing a coast?" But yeah, I can't with y'all today, y'all. <laughs> y'all <laughs> ass is in real form today. Um, uh, it says. I love how the Bears wide receiver core was trash last year. Now they add one guy more, and you guys are legit. It's funny, really. Uh, yeah, I, again, all that, I don't know. We'll uh, see Tim that. says, I'll take uh, B. John at six and be extremely happy about it. I will, no. too. Because, yeah. you know, I, I, this is how I look at it. Everybody always, when talking about Emmitt Smith being better than Barry, they say if Emmitt Smith played behind the Lions line and Barry played behind Dallas, this is not even debatable. And, you you know, we, we saw what Barry did, right? Well, I'm just saying, picture that same thing with Bijan behind this line. You, you know, the last time that Goff went to the Super Bowl, he had a stud running back in Todd Gurley. Not saying Swift is not a stud, but I think Bijan's ability to be healthy – get in and out of his cuts and be patient and hit the hole and go the distance. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty big in my opinion. 
Um, let me go through and ask y'all a few questions. Any questions y'all got in the chat, put them in there. I'm down for it. If you want to jump in, feel free. The link is in the description. I'm sorry, the link is in the chat. It's pinned at the top. Just click on it. Hop in. Come talk your stuff. I'm going to ask y'all one more question, and then we get up out of here, to be honest with you. Uh, I said, I don't think people realize how much B. John or Charbonnet, Char- I always bought this damn dude name, Char- Charbonnet, Charbonnet, moved the needle. I don't think they understand it either, Dern. I wish they <laughs> I wish they did. I'm trying to I'm trying to get people to think outside the box, and all I'm being met with is anger. <laughs> I'm trying to get people to see, like, hey, you know, you guys want a corner at six. He's not going to move the needle like that running back. I'm sorry. Like, if you had a chance to take Saquon Barkley right now, right? Let's say Saquon Barkley's coming out of college, doing what he did in college and take one of these cornerbacks, and you still think you should take a cornerback, you're, you're, I feel like you're delusional. That You're going to get more impact from the Saquon Barkley. It's just it's just the reality. Um, it's a hey, Lou. Of defense. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's just say Bijan not there. Would you take the shot on Charbonnet? At six? No, at 18, because- let's say. But no, because I think he'll be there at 18. See, B. John to me yeah. is different. He's different. He's just he's just different. Will Anderson said he was the he was the toughest player uh he played against his whole college career. I, I'm just telling you right now, the man like is different. He will still firm you, truck you, uh spit in your face. I feel like he's just violent about the, how he runs the ball. And so yeah. to me, uh Car- Carbonet, I think. Will be there at 18. Hell, I think he might be able to slide to the second round, to be honest with you. I don't have any issues there. But I, I feel like B. John is, is something different. Like, it's yeah. just something different. Dr. Detroit says, picture the defense 25th overall again, though, Luke. We need to fix the D early. Carter at six. Or Will Harris. Right, listen, hold if on. If he's there. If hold on, Will hold Harris. on. I have said this one billion times. If Jalen Carter is there, I'm taking him. You have but to. If, but if he's yeah, not it, there, it's just, if for some reason Jalen Carter's not there, if for some reason Will Anderson is not there, which I don't even see how that's possible given how the trade went down, right? But let's say that both of them is not there. Let's say my favorite three quarterbacks are not there. I'm taking B. John. But if Carter is there, I'm taking Jalen Carter. All this talks about him speeding the car. I don't give a yeah, shit. At better, best, it's, a, it's a misdemeanor. Exactly. Right. So the biggest issue here is, look, guys, Carter's not a guarantee he's going to be there. I get it. A lot of mocks have it. But you got two teams you're going to have to place bets that he's going to fall, either Anderson or Carter. You got to pray to God the Cardinals drink the stupid juice and take Wilson. That's the only bet you got. Rumor has it they're really high on him. But if, if they do take Will Anderson, Seattle's not passing up on Carter. I don't see it. I just don't. Yeah, I think I think if Jalen Carter is there, Seattle's taking him. Definitely. I, I just do. Now, if you're telling me that, that if Seattle takes him and Will Anderson is there, and now you got a chance to take a linebacker, I'm going to be honest with you. That, I like Will Anderson game. I like mm. him. But do we really need a pass rusher? Yeah, but let's be fair. When it's at six, Anderson, though, the dude is a Peace. I get it, but do you need a pass rusher? You can't go without enough pass. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay, you can't. So if you, if you feel, so, 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 listen, so if you feel, if you feel that we need a pass rusher, then you take him. But either way it go, him at linebacker. Either, oh my god! But this is what I'm saying. But either way it go, if you take oh, him, if you take Will mm-hmm. Anderson, or you take Jalen Carter, Koo, But if they're both gone. Your really top know. three quarterbacks are going to take B. John Robinson, and you live and be happy about it. No, I don't think there's a cornerback yeah. in this draft. And I did this already. How am I saying it? Luke says carbonate. Hey, Tim, don't do me like that. You know I suck with these damn names. All right? <laughs> uh, next episode, Luke you know, needs hockey hey, names. You know, I, I got I get. I would take Zach. How you say it? Charbonnet? Charbonnet? Damn it. How you say it? It's Charbonnet. Charbonnet. Char- <laughs> Man, that sounds like wine. Like Charbonnet. I ha- listen. It is I like have wine. Always been terrible with names. I can't tell you how many girls I have lost 
Because I could not be the main one. I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I don't. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't mess so I don't listen. You know what I'm saying? Thank God I'm married now. But boy, if I was still single, I'm telling you, I I had a lot of breakups because I kept botching their damn name. I'm man, sorry. Don't ever try to pronounce your wife's name, man. Oh my god. Now, if this happened, we got Carter at six, and we still mess around and get. Be John at 18, I would be like, yo, just the rest of the draft, just hey, yo, I'm I'm good. I got impact players, and that's all I'm asking for. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see. I'm gonna hit a few more things. Uh Steve says casual GM podcast. Yeah, so you remember uh we had uh, a, a few episodes where um shit really. Yeah, more than a few. How many episodes he came on? He came on a few, but uh, he was t- he, he's a Ravens fan, but he's also a Lions fan, and yeah, he he believes in analytics to the core. Analytics are life. Um, oh, yeah, he's a money man. He's an he is an accountant brain. Yeah, so I you know so um, I'd be over there, but I don't say anything because they think I'm trying to incite riots. But I ask questions, and so I'm just I'm just asking asking questions. That's all. Um, I know, I know, Drew. He's probably gonna like this because he's all about the money, and I know he's gonna like this. Look, <laughs> Luke, Luke needs that little ball bouncing over the syllables. For play, man. <laughs> <laughs> you see, hey, hey, it's hard. Listen, I'd be at work. I'd be at work pissing off clients. They'd be like, "Man, what did you just call me?" I'm sorry, sir. Just I'm never say, gonna have you pronounce my last name. Yeah, I yeah. I it is what it is. Do they talk about the whole NFL or is it another Lions show? No, mostly the Lions. whole NFL, but mostly the Lions show. They just only talk about like cap. Like he only cares about the construction of a team. He doesn't really care about like the moves, the players directly. It's just more of the construction, just, how you construct the team. I'll be honest. It doesn't like, work like that. that. Drew, Drew is a good foil for you. If, if you had had the Drew and Luke show, I mean, hey, or the Luke and Drew show. Yeah, I, 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 I be pissing people off. I can't help myself. It's not my fault, though. No. Uh, do you need Michael Parsons, Luke? Michael. Yeah, I would like a Michael. Yeah, Parsons. <laughs> but remember, remember that year I said that it's gonna be either Slater or Sewell. We're not taking Parsons. I, I did not believe we were taking Parsons, and we took. One of the tackles. I said we need a tackle to complete the line. I think that makes the most sense, and he did. So, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I don't. Regret. I mean, I don't. I don't. I don't really have a regret, really, about that pick. But in hindsight, being twenty twenty, boy, we missed out on a good one. Oh, it's, listen, it's you it's, go one way or the other. Charbonnet, Charbonnet. I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate it. Listen. <laughs> I, I suck names. Uh, Luke wants to draft Malik. That's a lie, Van. Stop, oh, stop, stop the cap. Stop the cap. I had to tell everybody we don't need a quarterback. Stop the cap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Luke almost. Uh, Hey, Luke almost had a conniption last year when he was talking man, about man, trying to draft say, the league with Will. Leave out, man. What Malik the hell? Was two was like, guys. It, you know what it reminded me of? When when that, when I saw Levi's name, it reminded me of that scene from Big Daddy where they trying to have him say hip, hippopotamus and he kept on saying hippopotamus. And I was like, yo, I can't say this dude's name. Man, y'all going to have to break this down. What the hell is this? And it, hey, it, it's the truth. I, I'm... I suck at names. Y'all know this. All right, people, we coming up on that time. I, you know, I'm going to do this again tomorrow. I'm going to leave it open because by that time we would have been to add some more pieces and hopefully, hopefully more people be willing to jump in and, um, and come in and, and talk. Um, and that would be the best thing we can do. So before we get up out of here, get to the final thoughts, I'm going to start off with you first, Cal TV, so we can work our way kind of backwards. What you got for your final thoughts? Final thoughts is don't be a slappy. You know what I mean? Just just take it for what it is, man, and and just keep it real at all costs. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, with that being said, man, y'all sub, like, share, 
to the brother Luke's um, channel. And uh, if you if you need any spiritual guidance, man, come over to my uh, over to my channel. I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a Detroit fan. Uh, you know what I mean? So, you know, trust me, I've been going through put the, it. Put the link, same put the link in the description, too. You know what I'm saying? Go to the chat and drop the link so I can, you know, put it out there so people can you can get to it. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure that people are able to get to it. Stuff. The Durr says, if you stay on, I'll join. J join. If I'll be on tomorrow. You can join right now. The link is right there in the description. Jump in. I am all ears. Like, I I'm, I'm really am asking questions because I'm like, I don't want to hear and this is what when I'm asking these questions, I want to see what y'all real opinions is. I don't want to hear this talk about fire nobody if things don't go the way you think it's supposed to go. Because I've been saying a lot of people give out love and praise. Don't start, don't do, don't be that person when all of a sudden now you want to start fire this person. No, absolutely not. That's all I'm saying. So please join. Um, and it says corner sudden mostly upgraded DB shouldn't be a question. Really. Okay. Why should it not be a question? Huh? What, have, what, what, what have they done? What have they done? Slappy. I, I, that's a legit <laughs> question. Like, I'm not... The Dern has jumped in. I, I, listen, I know he's going to final thoughts, but I got to give my man some time to talk. The Dern is in the building. What's going on, sir? What's up? What's up? What's up? How are we doing? Much. I'm good. So, listen. You're gonna hear my kids in the background. Sorry, they're playing games. Yes, if if mine wasn't occupied with <laughs> the Nintendo Switch, I probably have them in the background too. You remember earlier in all my shows, my kids would be in the background making all kind of noise. Give me one second. I'm gonna shut my door really quick. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I want to get people. I want to get people a chance to you know speak their stuff. Uh, it says, "Shh, I was watching a man cook in the kitchen." <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, yeah, we get Listen, he be doing a thousand things, but I love that he comes in and still show love. <laughs> all right, all right, um, I'm ready. All okay. right, so what are you, what are your thoughts about the Lions free agency? And 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 you know, I, I'm I don't want to sway you no way, so they, I can't ask certain questions. So, what are your thoughts about the Lions free agency so far? It, it's interesting. Um, people keep saying no corner early now because of Sutton and Mosley. Mosley was hurt all year, but he's talented. He played pretty well for the 49ers, but. Uh, I don't feel like the number one corners like you said. But at the same time, we don't have to take a corner that high because I there I don't think there is no soft starter in this draft. Me neither. I like I think Porter <laughs> Jr. is the best corner in this draft because of his length is his arm length is freaky. Um, he's not the fastest guy, but at the same time, in my opinion, I think he is the best corner. But. Will they take one? They'll probably wait till the second, maybe the third to take one to learn under these guys for a year since uh, Mosley is only one year deal, I believe. So, yep. And I just want to say, I don't know why people don't want to take a quarterback. If the right one falls to them, you should not be mad if they take one. They are investing in a backup plan just in case Goff does not work out. I don't know why people blindly follow or just blindly believe that he is just the answer after – one really good year, and he didn't start going until uh, our uh, our offensive coordinator took over for Anthony Lynn. So, w what if he leaves? Is he going to go back to playing mediocre? So you know what blows you... my mind more though. You know what blows my mind the fact that they don't want that because they said we got to fix the defense, but they had no problem waiting on the receiver to sit. Like this shit makes no sense. We the only team that would take a receiver to sit. Who does that? Like, like who, who else draft the receiver just to sit? Like, everybody was hyped about that. But God forbid you draft a quarterback who's hurt to sit. Or you take a quarterback that you like at six, that's a mistake. Why? I, I mean, all the successful teams l drafted a quarterback while they had a successful, quote-unquote, quarterback for a year that either took them to the playoffs, like uh, the Chiefs. I mean... Even with Tom Brady, how well he played in this league, they still drafted, what, six quarterbacks while they had him? It's a backup plan just in case he gets hurt or he doesn't work out at some point and they want to move on from him. But why are we just blindly following golf and people just want to throw the money bag at him? That doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, You're not going to get no fight out of me. <laughs> right. not, I mean, you talk about a guy who's on contract this year and next year, and most people want to sign him next year. Now, this this how funny this is. I want you to understand something. I want people to really 
really wrap their head around this. They think that they're going to get him cheaper in 2024. No. Oh, we're not. Then, no then they are going to get him right now. And my if view is, is that bag from the Giants. He, man, that's what I'm saying. My view is, is just up. look at it. Like, just look at what happens in the history. If you really feel that golf is a guy, you have to re-sign him after the draft. There is no get around. If you wait to 2024, the price goes up. And to show you how crazy it is, Lamar Jackson, a mm -hmm. guy that many of you like and love, was offered a fully guaranteed hundred and thirty million dollar contract for which three would, years which, for three years which he could get another big three, contract which would have made him about what 45 a year if you average it out it's really like 44.3 or something like that but it's like almost right. 45 just round it up forget it right now 45 it. you so if he, if he is turning down 45 a year to get closer to what is being reported closer to uh Deshaun Watson's deal or better, where Deshaun Watson is closely, roughly around like 46 a year, and he wants more than 46. If golf goes out and have another year like he had the year before, he's not taking no 35 or 40 or 45 million a year. You You're going to pay him 50 to 52 to million dollars a year. Yeah. yeah, it's no way. So what Jones got, bro. I'm, I'm and just, he's awful. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, and then the other thing I wanted to say, why is it a big deal if we get Bijan Robinson? <laughs> calm down, calm down. That's it. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's so, a definitely big they, uh, Listen, when I brought it up, I got chewed out for that decision too. Oh, like, people are going to hate me for saying this. Jamal Williams is not a need to bring back. I will stand on the lead by myself if I have to. You're but not by yourself. I've said the same Robinson. thing. Don't be, don't be mad if we don't get uh... – Carton uh Jamal back, man. Because I don't see, I, I'm not gonna be mad, mad, but if we overpay for him, that's and when I'll be mad. You get to Buffalo today, so if you get Bijan Robinson, that moves the needle so far. He's way more talented than Swift and Jamal Williams put together. And mm -hmm. like you said, I always bring this up. Goff was at his people want to keep Goff. Okay, why don't you give him a healthier Todd Gurley? A yep. guy that doesn't have knee problems. Yep. He is best when he's at his play action. So give him what he needs in a really good run game, a legitimate threat on the ground, so he can work his magic then. Who, uh, who would be John? He played for Texas? Yes. Yes, Texas Longhorns. I got to go watch some film right now, I guess. Again, I say these things, and people say I'm crazy, but again, I'm not talking about just now. Did it age well? Um, the shout out to my man Robert, Robert McGregor. He says, Luke, Look at Sutton's stats, bro. All you, you gotta do is ask. All you gotta do is ask, right? What about him? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not, what about him? Is here? What about him? I, okay, here I make it bigger. I don't want nobody to say I'm, I'm cheating the process. <laughs> what about him? He yeah. played pretty decent as a number two, and they say he's really smart, but. I, Right, right. In my, I, I, I didn't, I, and I didn't say I didn't hate the movie. I just said I don't hate it. I don't like it. I said I, it's neither one of those. I just basically looked at it and said, "This is what he do. This is what the general manager do." And so I'm not going to react to it until I see what they actually do. But okay, we look at the stats now. They don't what am I supposed to see here? Gave up how many touchdowns it was scored on them? Like on that? Huh? They don't tell you how many yards was uh on him, like. You got to you got to go to Pro Football Focus for all that. They be trying to come up with that stuff and act like they be knowing it, but you know whatever. You know I I don't get into all that. I I look at I look at certain things. I do like that he got the pass the flex. I like that he got three turnovers. You know what I'm saying he's not bad, but I mean like it's but he but, he, but, but he's not a number That's one problem. corner. Do we have time for a quick? Um, uh, I'm just saying. Um. Uh, my man says he's a he's an upgrade from the boo boo chips we had. That's not wrong. Yeah, it's about them the boo -boo yeah. chips back, so it don't my, matter. And again, my only nobody heard me say anything other than he's not a number one corner, and nobody heard me say anything other than when I saw him going against faster receivers, it didn't look good. That's all I said. I didn't say anything else. So I'm just putting that out there. But 
Anything else you got done during say it. I'm I'm all ears, bro. I just wanted to put it up there because they said I need to look at the stats, so I put it up there. I, I just wanted to ruffle some feathers about the quarterback Bijan and saying Jamal Williams is not a number one running back. He's a number two running back. I agree. And to me, if they if they re-sign this whole talk of trade swift is a mistake. You, you can't re-sign Jamal Williams because Jamal Williams is using I broke Barry Sanders' touchdown record as a, as a right, uh, and there's a bidding war for him, so we're gonna overpay for him. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not getting in the middle of that. You know, uh, it says, I'll take a Bijan at six because I don't want Bears to take him at nine. If the Bears got <laughs> Bijan, oh my god, bro. I'm mm-hmm. listen. I don't listen. I don't care. I don't care where people go. I just sit back and tell people, don't get mad when you didn't get what you, what you want. Again, most of what I say sounds crazy until it happens. It happens. <laughs> like, like, it sounds crazy. I'm not trying to be different. I'm telling you that I'm looking at a bigger picture. That's what I'm saying. Anything else, Darren? I'm giving you, because like I said, I don't want nobody to say I cheated the process. <laughs> oh, no, I, I agree with them. Uh, pretty much everything you say. It's just uh, on Facebook, I put on there that Jamal Williams is not a need to bring back, and I got my ass chewed oh. out here. Oh, he brings more to the table. Yeah, you're going to throw the money bag at him just because he's a good leader? Yep. Whatever. Yeah. I, I thought we were done with that with Michael Brockers. Yeah. I thought we were too, but I guess not. You know, I guess we wasn't done with it at all. So Right, right. Um, you know, it is what it is. I, I get it. Um, you know, um, I again, I don't think he makes it to 18. If he do, I would be freaking shocked. I would be absolutely so, shocked. I think Here's the Eagles, thought. I think the Eagles, the Bears could do it because to me, think about this. You got a chance to get Will Anderson. You got a chance to get J- uh Carter, right? And you like, I'm gonna trade down. What is it that y'all really want? And I'm in running back could be that damn thing. It really could. So right. here are my I, thoughts on the draft really quick. At ahead. six, you were supposed to draft one of the most important uh positions on a team unless you have like a soft starter let's say so what is that that's quarterback your uh left tackle uh defensive well it depends as your quarterback right-handed left-handed your his your blindside tackle and then defensive end and there's one more i can't think of it unless there's like a generational talent like let's say a Bijan robinson or let's say a jalen carter a defensive tackle so that being said Maybe if one of the quarterbacks that they like drops to them or if Jalen Carter or Will Anderson drops to them, I think that'll be the pick, and then maybe they'll trade back up for Bijan because guess what? They move the needle more than anyone else. It, it is what it is. Uh, my man, Mr. Washington, Adman Washington, he says, uh, Carter or Anderson at six, if neither is available, trade down. What if you can't trade down? If that's the case, then there might be a quarterback that they really like there at six. I'm, I'm just listen. I'm just. I will take him to hook. I think he's the best quarterback in this draft. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I'm say it again for the people that's hard to hear. I've been wrong before, but I've been right a whole lot, and nobody points that out. But it's okay. <laughs> so, it it's is okay. what it is, man. It is what it is. All right. Um, all right. Get the people your final thoughts before you get out of here, Darren, so they can. I, I came in here. Okay, so I came in here to ruffle some feathers. I hope I did and open people's eyes. That's it. Have a great night. Hey, shout out to you, sir. I appreciate you for coming through. Uh, my man Crimson, give the people your final thoughts. Later, guys. Appreciate yep. you, sir. Um, I will say Dern didn't really ruffle my feathers. Is everything I pretty much agreed with. Like I said, I don't see Jamal Williams as a need. I'm not against taking a running back if I don't have Carter or. If I don't have Anderson, then by all means, give me the guy that I know is going to be a game changer instead of, you know, well, let's take Wilson, see what happens. Take a guy you know you can use. I'm with, I'm with it. Uh, obviously, Greasy, get the building going. Get the people your final thoughts, sir. My final thought is Chris, when he was all that time in the kitchen, it came out with a bowl of cereal. Uh, actually, <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Hey, I didn't even think about that. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bowl of cereal. I'm like, man, what are you about to come up with something like some rap? Came out with some Hey, hey it just dawned on me. It That's just dawned on me, man. Man, silly, that was man. not cereal. Oh, okay. I, I, I did hear the spoon in the bowl. That's why I had to mute. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what the hell is that sound? 
But uh, sorry. I didn't yeah, know that's that. funny. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I'll, it's <laughs> it's stir fry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad at you, bro. I'm not. I know, but Jesus, you insulting my cooking. <laughs> <laughs> What you, you got for him, Greg? Like, watching him cooking everything. <laughs> what you got for him, man? Bowl of cereal, bro. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he came up with the, with the bowl of cereal. Unpopular opinion: Tracy Walker and our new safety who picked off Rogers are the same damn player. It's not unpopular. I've been saying this shit been from. Saying the, it's not I've been saying thing. this since we You're drafted him. It's not a bad thing. It's no. It is a bad thing because you don't have a. If the, if somebody gets to run the ball on you. You're going to be forced to bring Walker up in the box, and he's not that he's not that guy for the box. And you can't even begin to bring Kirby in the box, so he is not that guy. The only thing you can hope for is that people pass enough and refuse to run the ball on us, and that, that gives them opportunities. But in order for you to do that, you need linebackers. And every time you hear people talk about how fast that defense is and that fast that defense, it's because how fast them goddamn linebackers are playing that nobody talks about. So if we can't stop the run, yeah, you got a problem. They are the same player. I keep I've said this so many times. It's just the reality. They're the same. I'm just putting it out there. Uh people appreciate you for coming in and rocking with me. Um, I know I know a lot of people's upset because they feel like, oh, you're just shitting on it. Oh, you're negative, you don't know what you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. I get it. I'm I cool with it. You know, I'm, I feel like in 2020, uh, in 2023, I am open to everything. I believe that all criticism is is opportunity for growth. And at the end of the day, A, speak your truth. I gave you the opportunity and a window for you to join, say what you want to say, and talk your talk. Now, if you didn't jump on and say it, then that's your fault. Don't come back later with a thousand posts on there to my son. He didn't, he didn't put my comment up. That's not true. You can fall in love with everything that you want, but everything that I said literally was just me telling you the truth and getting you to think. I didn't even I didn't even disagree with that. I literally said I don't I don't have a, a wear all because nothing is done. But thus far, I got a question on what did we improve? I got a question on these, and I asked questions, not because I want people to see oh oh I hate this. It's because I think we need to ask ourselves questions for real because I don't want to hear we need to fire Aaron Glenn when shit don't go the way you want it to. So I want to know what you thought we improved. Because I shouldn't be hearing fire Aaron Glenn if we got a top 25 defense again. So I'm just saying. Um, you know me, can't end no show unless I do it on a positive note. Um, <laughs> are you open to drafting another injury receiver, Luke? Oh, God, don't start that, y'all. Depends on what, what round you're talking, to be honest with you. Because he's not – I'm looking at it from this standpoint. If I don't have to play him immediately – and it's a later round pick, sure. But taking an injury receiver 12th overall when you need defensive help, you need linebackers. Yeah, not gonna act like that was the greatest move. Sorry. Even, even if he ends up becoming the next Odell Beckham Jr., who the hell cares? I don't. I just don't. Sorry. We need our defense is why we lost a lot of games last year. Just saying. Um we have the same linebackers that gave up 321 yards to the Panthers. Y'all quit bringing up the Carolina game. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why. That was the weirdest game. Man. Dude, that game was so weird. Man, my, my baby mom from South Carolina, all I heard was that bullshit, man. Dude, it said, so if we not re-signing Deshaun Elliott, we drafting a box safety early, right? No, wrong. It's a lot, it's a lot of secondary help out there. That's all I'm putting out there. Here's my final thought, people. It comes from me today. It is a simple one. Um, it is time for you to do some spring cleaning. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. It is time to do some spring cleaning. You see, out with the old, in with the new. And I got to say that this is directly pointed at you. There are some things about you that need to be had and that need to be discovered and tossed out. The doubt needs to be tossed out. The regret needs to be tossed out. The fear needs to be tossed out. The excuses need to be tossed out. All the who, when, where, why, what, and they couldn't let me and they did this needs to be tossed out. There's some friends that need to be tossed out. Some women that need to be tossed out. Some men that need to be tossed out. Some family members need to be tossed out. It's spring cleaning time. Now, they're going to say to me, Luke, it ain't quite spring just yet, but at the end of the day, that's 
not mean that you can't begin the process of tossing out the old and bringing in the new. Because when you toss all that out, you'll notice you have more space. And that space I'm talking about is time. And with time comes money. With time comes opportunity. Where opportunity brings new people. And with new people brings new experiences. And if you just simply take a second to toss out the old so you can make room for the new, you can do some serious spring cleaning. Some of y'all sitting up here cheating yourselves, acting as if though you got to hold on to these people that don't need to be held on to. Some of y'all out here acting like if you just let go, you don't know what you may or may be missing. But I give you something to think about. What if you holding on too long and miss out on the best things that you could have had? This job that's stressing you out, that give you physical reactions and make you upset every time you pull up to the parking lot, toss it out. These people that keep coming up to you giving you flat about you trying to improve yourself and telling you what you can and can't do and what you need to and should not do toss them out take seconds not days seconds to just do a quick list and check them off one by one as you do some spring cleaning i tell you this to tell you that once you're done tossing everything out once you're done cleaning up this 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 house this this temple this 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 castle that is called you once you've done that, take a second to look in the mirror, congratulate yourself, tell yourself how proud you are of yourself, and make sure you give yourself a, you give yourself a pat on the back. Because whether you know it or not, what you did that benefited the interests of you is exactly what you needed to do to benefit the, the needs of you. Keep that close to you. Make sure you put yourself first, get it clean, and come out strong. And at the end of the day, no matter what those people say that you tossed out, they're going to all come back with a different level of respect and a whole new attitude. And you heard it here first from Luke. Whoa. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. And if you don't do nothing else, don't be no chump. Please, please do your research. I'll be back at it again to talk some more Detroit Lions free agency. We out.